Hello and welcome to the Crafty Seas channel. Today we'll be making tags as part of the Pink Bubble Cards Alphabet Challenge. We've noticed when we've been doing our die cutting that the plates and magnetic shim are leaving slight marks from previous cuts onto our cardstock. We saw suggested online that if you put your card and die into a poly pocket before putting it through the machine this should prevent any marks from going on to the cardstock and as you'll see in a moment our plates are really in a bad state so we were desperate to give this a go before purchasing new plates. We kept everything the same for the normal procedure using the Gemini, same combination of plates, base plate, plastic shim, magnetic shim, cardstock and die and then the top plate. The only difference was the addition of the poly pocket. So let's see how it worked out. The cardstock definitely had no marks on it compared to cutting it without the poly pocket. However, the poly pocket was completely obliterated and you would have to use a new poly pocket each time you were running through the machine, which is very wasteful. The poly pocket was really useful when it came to cutting the gold cardstock, which normally marks very easily. So on to the actual tag making. We die cut out the tags and shapes as you saw, and then we used a selection of our favourite chinoiserie paper scraps and 3D stickers to, to build the tags. <laughs>
we have the finished tags. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Drop us a little comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, the Crafty Seas. Bye.